in here in Yelm, Washington today, and uh, Louis is going to show us his drift boat. You may have seen this in previous videos, and I'll probably do another montage at the end of it, but he's going to take us through the ins and outs of this unique truck build. So, let's get started. Where would you like to begin? Uh, I'm going to start off with uh, the pickup. It's an 87 Toyota pickup. Um, it was a junker in a junkyard. I spent $250 on the truck. Um, what color was it originally? It was primer gray. Primer gray? Primer gray. I think uh, factory was the tannish color. Gotcha. So this is a full, even the engine bay is painted, right? Yep. Ooh. And what is the color, actually? Let's start with this. What was that? I mean, it looks that like it's black, but it's got this blue color. metal flake. I don't know yeah. if a camera will pick it up. Or RSX. Accurate RSX color. Oh. So it's got blue pearl and uh, midnight flake. It is, it is super rad, super rad. But, uh, okay, I guess we'll start with the motor because you were saying, I mean, the big thing about this is, let me come on, let me turn back on. The thing about this, and this is a small block Chevy, yeah. right? And which one is it? Like it's what a year? 75 Chevy pickup. 75 Chevy pickup? And what it came out of. Yep. It's got high rev heads, um, high rise intake manifold. It has it's 30 over motor. Okay. Um, roller rockers, cams. What do you do to stop getting dry bowl when you're out there sliding around? Is there anything you do? No, I like haven't that? done anything. You I've just kind of got lucky, actually. Gotcha, okay. Yep. Just Wasn't got cutting lucky. out in the middle of turns or anything? No. Nope. Okay. No. Nope. Cool. That seems to be what everybody thinks when you go uh, V8 car. Right. right. They're like, oh, are you going to be out there? Just I thought about stuff. going EFI live maybe later on down the road. Actually, my big plans for this vehicle is to put an LS in it. Gotcha. You already got the transmission for it. Yep. So this is a T56 now, yep. right? Gotcha. And then, uh, obviously, you've got a lot of fabrication in this area. You put in... Did you buy a 240SX and then cut it up? Or did you just happen to find some subframes off of it? Actually, jumper? yeah. A buddy of mine totaled his car. So I got the, the 98 Nissan 240 front subframe and rear. So you got an S14. Yep. Nice. Yep. Very nice. And uh, cut the whole truck to pieces. Very cool. Started taking measurements. And there was one thing you were talking about that you did with the suspension geometry that uh, you were talking to me about. Yes. Which was you set it all up so that it's, how do I put this, it's factory ride height is this low so that you didn't have to run a special lower control arm right none of that so this is all factory yep, everything factory here. yep what did you do to overcome uh or what did you do for steering there's not a lot of room in here see for... well the steering what didn't work out that was actually a big hurdle that i ran into so this is out of a 91 mr2 which is also a toyota part which i really like yeah um and it's full hydraulic steering so yeah it's just full hydraulic. this has full hydraulic what yeah. so is there like a psc ram hiding in here or something Nope, it runs off the factory ram off of uh, uh s14 okay so it has a s14 rack in it but so I'm, I'm, I'm missing something is there is this electric over hydraulic yep. that's just keeping it so instead yep. of it being off of here it runs yep, off it's of all off of a switch you flip a switch wow. on and turn the wheel left right and it works that's awesome so you never have to worry about it uh Getting, oh, I wouldn't say getting hot, but like just not having enough going. It's always, right. Yep. That's always awesome. So did you have to run a bigger alternator to get enough power to keep the thing going, or has it got an auxiliary no, battery? No, or? that's factory alternator there. Okay. Factory gotcha. alternator. Cool. And then uh, what's inside? I mean, what's uh, do you, any? Inside I think you had like pretty a, factory. Yeah, so didn't do too much wheel. cleaning in there, but yeah, just a grant wheel. And then what were these seats out of? These look like S14 seats. Uh, no, I'm not sure what those are out. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe somebody in the comments could uh, tell me which seats these are. I like the headrests. They look familiar for some reason. Maybe Honda. I don't know. So you got some black and some paint. gray. Or did you paint this? Is that what happened? Yeah. Ah. Yeah, it was painted. Then the brown pieces. Did it come out of maybe the come out of one of these two? Yeah, it's a possibility. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. No tack. Nope. No tack. Bare oh bones. man. Yeah. That's cool. I've got the slider window. This I love this. This is this old deal right here, I love how that looks. This was actually the most...
We're going to go underneath of it here and kind of show you how uh, difficult it was to fit all of these pieces inside of here. And I hope the lighting's good, but I'm at the mercy of whatever's going on. 